Hey guys, this is James. And this is Denny from TDV, bringing you guys episode 146. Yes. So we have grown progressively more ridiculous looking in the past few episodes. It's true. Yep. So what do we got here? So we have a 2013 um, young uh, Gushu Ra. Um, you're going to have to help me with the pronunciation here. Sheila. 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 Excuse me. Yep. Um... And this is from Alti from um, that you got on Taobao. Yeah, well, actually, they kindly sent me some samples. Okay, awesome. um, they're on TeaChat and stuff. I think they would probably uh, sell stuff to uh, Westerners uh, if you PayPal them and stuff. Cool. But uh, this is my favorite of the younger raw productions that we did. We brought on one of their daily drinking badas uh, right. a few episodes back, which is pretty good. Um, and I'm I'm a fan of this tea. Uh, Sheila is Yola Mountain, so it's one of the six famous tea mountains. It is a little bit west of Meng La County, so it's sort of like a mix between, sort of in between Meng Hai County and uh, more of the traditional Iwu areas. Mm-hmm. That's some yellow. Oh. Characteristic young. <clears throat> and we were filming a Periscope before this. On the Periscope, I was talking a little about how our young Ra's will show wow oh, it's really roasty flavors to it um smells to it will show um much greener and um in terms of the material early on and so if you are just looking at a cake you have no idea what the hell this is you can probably tell the age by virtue of what the the color saturation of the leaves are and the color of the leaves are so if they've lost saturation it's older if they're green it's younger if they're more vibrant it's younger if they're red it's older good general rule obviously the processing depends of the base material has a huge impact but so are we going to be drinking this first steeping here we will be okay. yes i gave it one rinse perfect and so this is steep number one cheers cheers light you know the, there's a, a minty so like a cooling sensation in sure. your mouth um mintiness herbal cooling and you know it's interesting to drink teas right around this uh two and a half year mark uh and I find that I don't generally like teas and this this is definitely an exception to the rule being in this category because as they get older those super fresh crisp notes right. start to age off but right. it hasn't developed a lot of that really more interesting maturity right uh in the tea but i found that this tea <clears throat> does fairly well and some of these young raws are meant to be excuse me to be drank very quickly um in the same way that you have, I can't remember the, the terminology for wine, but essentially vineyards will produce wines that are that are made to be drank within six months. Mm-hmm. And this is sort of the same kind of concept. Um, not for this tea specifically. No, but right. For, for some young raws, they're intended not to yeah. age. Um, so ones that might amp up the fragrance, or they might oxidize the leaves a little bit more, mm-hmm. or they... Uh, process it closer to a green tea a mm-hmm. bunch of different ways yeah right? and uh but no this is well we haven't gotten into this all the way yet but this has got yeah it's a little bit darker um on, so on the, the steep it's like a very light mm. bitterness a little bit of um acorn nuttiness i get on this Yeah, there's a nice, <clears throat> I almost, I I want to say sugarcane sweetness, you know, kind of it, bland, straightforward sweetness to this um, in the in the front of it uh, that I think is, makes it very palatable. Does that remind you of the uh, pound cake at all? 
It really does, and that's, I mean, interestingly enough, yeah, maybe maybe a little bit of like a floral floral sweetness to it, um, but primarily just kind of like sweet in like a very candy kind of way. Hmm. I like but, that. But, I, 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 but not too not too saccharine. I don't mean it's not like you're, you know. So it's sort of a sweetness that's not floral. Um, so closer to sugar cane or something. Pre- like yeah, precisely. I mean, it it almost tastes like you're adding a, a little bit of um, sugar. Yeah, of just simple baking sugar to the the tea. Um, the cooling is still there. Um, which is actually a really nice contrast to our contrast to our last tea, um, which is very warming. Yeah, yeah, nice mage on it. Um, yeah, this is nice. It's getting a little bit more um, orange. Yep. I think this this will probably be the one of the better steepings yep. in terms of the intensity. Yep. And I find that this tea also has really good depth. Uh, whereas maybe the last tea we had was mainly in the mouth. I find this one uh, kind of gets a lot more going at the back of my mouth and in my throat too. Mm-hmm. The um the bitterness is coming through now in the the mid um phase of this um which I don't mind at all actually. It's nice. I think it balances the sweetness. Body is still light to medium. I wouldn't say yeah. this is a super thick tea. Yeah, I agree. But there's definitely like some, some a bit of an edge running through the tea, um, especially in this tea. And we're st- I'm still um, not in the flavor zone today. Um, so for me, I'm getting more blunted, a more blunted experience of the tea. I'm getting over a little bit of some allergies, and uh, my nose is a little bit plugged up. So what that means for me is that I'm I'm tasting the the I'm experiencing the cooling versus warming effects. I'm experiencing the the bitter versus um, silky effects. I'm experiencing the ways in which it's I'm tasting it on my tongue, but not the flavors as much. Mm-hmm. Um, and like we talked about a little bit last episode. It's nothing wrong when you're having kind of an off day, um, uh, when you're getting ready to do your tennis practice. <laughs> In the same way with tea as well, you're gonna have you're gonna have your off days where you're just not quite. This tea does you know it's the same tea that you had the day before, but it tastes a lot. You can't taste it as much. Um, that's okay. It happens. There's a lot you can still focus on and experience in the tea, even if that's the case. So for me. I'm going through that right now. And yeah, this is actually, this is quite pleasant. Um, it has a little bit more bitterness than the pound cake does. Um, and maybe a little bit more for cooling. Yeah. Less floral. And less less of that intense floral honey fragrance mm-hmm. that I think the pound cake has. And that's yeah. not even to say that this tea never had that. It may very well have. Um, but the extra two years of age is going to, those floral, super high fragrant notes are definitely going to be the first notes that age off of a tea so if you're really attracted to a tea for those reasons then it might be a good reason to uh drink that up relatively quickly and there's nothing wrong with that no not at all um in fact i mean that's one of my favorite parts of the of the pound cake and that's why i've decimated two cakes of it yeah um sort of has that sort of like sweet sugar cane marshmallow aroma to it mm-hmm. cheers cheers mm. This is good. This is the best one. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah, I think I think this is the most balanced one with the fullness of the body and the flavors. Um, mm-hmm. So the sweetness balancing out with the bitterness a little better. Um, texture really good. Um, yeah, this is solid. You know, and I'm definitely like feeling feeling the energy as well. So. Mm-hmm. Well, my pure. It's good because you got soccer practice and I got tennis practice. Uh, football. Yeah. Football. Um, do they do that? Is this f- f- anyway? I don't know what the heck that is. We're but. specializing in tea primarily. <laughs> football and tennis are secondary pleasures. Yeah, that's right. If folks wanted to learn a bit more about football and that stuff, they should check out ESPN. Otherwise, um, <laughs> um, you can you can check us out on tv.org for tea related stuff specifically we have plenty of information about young raws 
Um, older Raws. Older Raws, Young Ripes, Older Ripes. Oolongs, White Teas, Homegrown Teas. <sighs> yeah, we, we um, and a couple of uh, wild experiments. Check us out. Also check out our Tea Basics episodes. Um, let us know about those as well in the comments. Yeah, let Comment. us know if you got a specific idea you think might be a good one. I think we have some storage comparisons coming up in the future, so those should be fun. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, just thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and also thank you to All Tea and uh, over there at uh, in China for sending us this sample. Uh, this has definitely been one of my favorites, and I think it's a really reasonable uh, example of a really nice young poor. Absolutely. And we will see you guys next time for episode 147. Cheers.